the colors are just I can't even I, I, don't, I don't really make journals for myself but I really think I'm gonna make this one of these journals for myself because it's just fabulous so anyway um, I'm gonna go ahead and do a board for this uh, journal that I'll be making in the future after I finish that one and um, so first you start out with um, you want to get your you want to get two two graphics that match or that go with what you're doing and you're going to get them the size of your board now for boards you can use several different things I right now I'm using because I have run out of everything else these are book covers okay now as you can see this cover was way too big so I took my utility knife and a ruler and I cut it down to size and now you can see it's like the size of a, my journal that I'm going to be making so that's an idea that you can use cut down um, if you've got big old books that nobody's going to read textbooks whatever and you're going to throw them take the covers off because you can cut them down to size um, this is pretty thick and it wasn't that difficult to do um, now one thing I did forget to do oh lord it's been a morning I'm going to have to do this because um, two of these sides because I cut them um, are you can see the cardboard and then one has the blue you don't want the blue that's going to look really bad so I'm hoping this isn't going to be too difficult you take a block sandpaper block or just a piece of sandpaper and you want to get that blue off of there or whatever color it happens to be because otherwise it's going to look really funky if you've got two sides that are cardboard looking and one side two sides that are colored I'm not surprised that I forgot to do this because it's yeah it's been one of those mornings okay so we've done pretty good there makes a big mess nice and messy okay now I just noticed something else we've got a ridge here from this and I'm gonna try to get this off because I don't I want everything to be flat and um, I'm telling you let me see what I can do I'm gonna have another mess Oh, I hate days like this. <laughs> I really do. Let's see. Okay, that worked out well. Took it right off. Excellent. Okay, yeah so your your ultimate thing is you want to have a very flat surface okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to cut my and also you want to do this on cardstock because if you do it on regular paper I don't think that that is gonna go very well with writing on top of it so I always 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 use cardstock I mean, you can try for the, you know, if you've got the thicker weight paper, you could try that, but I, I just don't really suggest it. Okay. 
Now these pictures that I chose are a little bit smaller. That's fine. We can cut it off. Now the way I do this is I glue. I use two glues, okay? I use this Scotch Permanent Glue Stick, which is the... Um, okay, my mind just fogged right over. <laughs> Replacement for the Scotch Create Glue Stick. And um, they still have on Amazon the wrong pictures up there. I've called and told them they don't take it down. Um, also, I just noticed Pam at the Paper Outpost, if any of you guys follow her, uh, she ordered it thinking she was going to get the old one. And when she opened the box, this is what she got. And this was just like a few days ago. So, you're not going to get what's in the picture. You're going to get this. However, this is just as good, if not better, than the original. I swear by this stuff. So, and right now... Um, they have it on Amazon for, you get four of these great big huge ones, the big ones, for $9, which is a great deal. So I just picked up those. And um, while I'm talking about deals, um, for all of you guys who use the Art Glitter Glue, I just got this. The 16 ounce, which is the biggest one they have, um, usually goes for about anywhere from $25 to $30. It's insanity. Um, but I found this for $19 and, um, that's a lot for glue, but this will last me forever. Um, and I'm the type of person, if I'm going to be selling a journal to somebody or even giving it away, I'm not going to do something with glue that I am going to be worried they're going to, you know, have stuff falling apart or coming loose. Um, it, it's just not something I want to do. So they do have people saying, somebody said this on one of the groups. Um, they showed an 8 ounce bottle and I think it was a 2 or a 4 ounce with that little tip thing and all that. And it was like 23 or $25 and they were saying how it was such a wonderful deal. No, it's not because you're getting, you know, I think it was, um, eight, ten, it was, it was like 10 or 12 ounces of blue for way more than this. So anyone who uses this, uh, $19 for the 16 ounce is fabulous deal. So that's my tips for the day. <laughs> so anyway, what we're gonna do is, um, I'm gonna go ahead and I glue stick the entire, um, the entire thing. I don't use wet, whoops, I don't use wet glue over it because it leaves ripples a lot of times and I can't stand that. And I think for a writing board, that's the last thing you want is ripples under where you're writing. So. I want it to be very, very smooth and very flat. So all I do with the wet glue though is I go right around just the very, very edge, really thin. And I do that just to double make sure that we're going to stick, okay? And on this one I didn't go all the way to the edge because it's bigger than, the picture is bigger than the, um, my board here so it's it would just hang off the edge so I'm going to line this up you don't have a ah, you don't have a whole lot of time to <laughs> to wiggle pretty quick and that is perfectly beautifully flat and smooth awesome okay and I'm just obsessed with this. This is just gorgeous. Now, like I said, we've got some over. So I'm going to just go ahead and take my utility knife. And I'm going to go ahead and cut this off. I don't know why I'm having issues with this. Maybe I need to change the blade. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So... That's one side. Okay, now we're going to do the other. And just do it the same, same way. Get my glue in here. I have a glass mat, but I still can't stand having glue all over it. <laughs> so I always use this ugly thing. You want to get your edges really well. Okay. And now we're going to just do this really tiny 
G-string here. Okay. And then you want to make sure, because <laughs> I've done this, that you are gluing it the right side up <laughs> and not upside down. Okay, so... Perfectly flat. I'm gonna put a little blue. Okay, I got it off. Surface. And we're gonna go ahead and cut this off. Wow, that came off great. <laughs> okay, I always check the edges all the way around. Now, right here is a little rough. So I'm going to get back my block out again and just, this always makes it very smooth. So if you have anything that's a little off, that's what you do and it works great. So, ooh, I didn't notice this is a little bit, I'm going to leave it there. So anyway, so this is the board and that was just like easy peasy and that's all there is to it. So, um, I normally will get out my trusty vintage photo and I go all the way around it. I don't know the vintage, if it's even going to show that much on here because there's a lot going on. But anyway, I'm not going to go, I'm not going to bother with that while we're, while I'm doing this because it's not going to really show. There's a lot of dark on here, so I may do it later. There's some white here, but. Anyway, so there you have a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous writing board, okay? So I hope that I went slow enough for you guys to um, get how to do it. I mean, it's, it's really simple. So nothing to be afraid of. Um, the hard, about the hardest part of that was cutting the book to fit the size I wanted. And um, that's no big deal, really. You just got to do it nice and slow and just keep going with the knife until it goes all the way through. So that is our writing board, okay? The next thing we're going to do is we need to get, I kind of did a little bit ahead here <laughs> just to help myself along this morning. Um, we're going to make a dome like open um, window looking thing. I don't even know what to call it. I gotta think of a name for it. But anyway, what you want is you want a piece of paper, okay, that has your um, graphic on the ends, okay? Because this is gonna be your door, okay? So when you turn when you turn it up, this is not going to show. This is the back, okay? When you turn it this way, okay, and you also want to have it double sided. You want to have your inside um, be a, I suggest, to be a color that is like a neutral like this or something that is plain. Because when you put your pockets in here, it's going to look weird. Now, if you do this where you want to put, like, say, a little tablet in here um, that's not going to have any type of design on it, that would work differently. But when you close this... You want it so that your prettiness is in the front. So when you pick out your graphic, you got to make sure that what's on your ends is going to be the pretty part, not what's back here, because that's going to be glued down. So you start out with a piece of paper that is 10 inches long, okay, and that is 5 and 3 quarter inches wide. Okay, now you can make it bigger or smaller. Um, I made one, my first one that I made in a journal that I'm giving to the, the person who bought it tomorrow, I made it bigger. Um, the other one I made, and this one's even, oh. um, yeah, this one. Actually, you guys, instead of 10 inches across, Maybe I cut this one. That seems very... I did. Okay. I have a piece that was short. This is 
this is a normal my normal journal size and it's got quite a bit of room on both sides okay I was worried so yeah do 10 inches I don't know what's wrong with that piece of paper anyway this is my this right here is your eight and a half by eleven folded in half and this is my normal journal size all the time so when you put this on here if you notice hope you guys can see this good you have got you know a little bit on each side which is what I wanted okay so you can do this if you wanted to take up you could go up higher you could go up lower um, that would change your five and three quarters and make it whatever size you choose but in order for it to fit on this size paper and have some room on both sides um, I would not go over 10 inches you could go shorter than 10 inches if you want but um, I liked it at that point so once you do your and you and once you get it your both sides have their graphic um, you want to go and you want to put a line in the middle of your um, of your entire thing so it'd be five inches which is right there because I marked it and then you want to fold them down and that makes it so that each side is equal so if you put that little mark in the middle you know where to fold it now when you're folding it you don't want to have them touching this one's touching a little bit at the top but I mean that's okay but really you want to leave a little tiny space in the middle um, just so that it's uh, not on top of each other Okay, so let's do this again. 10 inches by five and three quarters. Okay, and then you want to turn it into the middle and you want to mark it at five inches, which is half, the halfway point. And then you want to fold over like so. And um, I suggest using your bone folder so it's nice and tight there. Okay, and there you have your doors, okay? But we're gonna go further than that. And we're gonna go and take a blast from the past. And hopefully you guys have one of these hanging around. <laughs> I have a few, I got rid of them all, but I have a few. Um, so what you're gonna do is, is you're gonna take your CD, okay? And you're going to bring it just a hair from the top okay and then you want to make sure it's even on both sides okay and then you're gonna take a pencil and you're just gonna go around okay and you don't have to do it if you want to do it square you can but um, I just wanted to do something that little gap looked like a window so that's why I did it this way so you're going to take it and you're going to go around and cut on that line Okay, so there you go. And that's an easy way to get that roundness there. If you don't have a CD, um, you could use a saucer, um, or I have these that I've got. Um, I went on Pinterest, I just thought of this, and I, um, I wanted some different size circles. And I thought I had a smaller one. Well, I thought I had one but anyway you can go on Pinterest and they if you put in circle patterns it will come up and you can just grab whatever size one you want and make a template with um, cardstock and that's another way you can do it so you don't have to have the CD but um, if you're like me maybe you have one hidden around here or there so it's not been that long ago well maybe it has <laughs> okay so anyway that part's done now let me close up my glue here okay 
So normally, um, you guys know me, I have to do my, I already did the whole thing, but the part I cut off now I have to redo because there's not going to be anything there. And you know, I really prefer um, Tim Holtz Distress Oxide over the ink. Um, it just comes off so much easier. I just feel like, I don't know. I prefer the oxide. So when this ink pad is done with, because this is the actual ink, I'm going to replace it with the oxide because I just really like it a lot better. It goes on smoother. And it's not so hard to do. Okay. Nope. I want to put this here because this is going to show. So, okay, so we're done with that. Now, I'm gonna, you could, if you wanted to, you could put a little tiny square, um, like little um, tablet in here. Um, you could do anything you want. I'm going to put in some little and actually making it shorter also made it that my little pockets are going to have to be shorter. So let's see how do I want to do this. I think I'm going to put the big one here and then I'm going to cut this in half. Yeah. I didn't realize um, the one I made, the other one I made was taller so you could fit them in, but this one is going to be shorter so we're going to have to cut one of them down. Okay. So this should be, hmm. actually I could round those and that would work well too. How's that for working on this, on the fly? Let's see. Do you want that one to go on the top? See how this works. Okay. Yeah. All right, that's going to work. <clears throat> So this is only my second one, you guys, so <laughs> bear with me. Um, but I just thought I had fun making it, and I was like, well, I'll just go ahead and put it in because this video probably went long anyway, but it would have been really short with just one thing. Now I'm having trouble with my glue. I'm telling you, this morning... Go. 
and I also left room on both sides here you can see they don't go all the way to the full because when you shut it I didn't want to have any hindrance of it shutting so we have that and then I just have a few things here I don't know this is not probably what I'm going to use to put in this but um, it's just to give you an idea we can go ahead and whoops you know what I need to glue the bottom oh lord you guys what a day luckily I can just stick this little guy in here and glue that down Thank goodness for those little chips, right? Fits right in there. Okay, so now that we have it not going to fall out the bottom, <laughs> you can put these in. And um, so yeah, I need to pick better things for this because of the fact that some of them are too big, but you get the idea. So like if I cut that off, I don't want to cut that out because I'm going to use it in something else, but um, that works. So then you have your little card you can write on, and of course I would ink all of mine, but I'm not going to go through that right now. And then to close it, I have this jute here that I thought kind of went, let me take this off, that kind of went with the sunflower deal. And um, kind of rustic-y hope that's enough and what I'm going to do I hope I got the right one let's see yeah I did so what I'm going to do is when I glue it down on my page I am going to glue the jute behind it like so and then tie this in a knot to keep it shut And I've got way too much cord. So, let's see. There we go. So then it would be like that. And, um, cut some of this off. There we go. So yeah, so that is the little windowed pocket. I guess that's what I'm going to call it. A window pocket? <laughs> A door pocket I don't know if anybody has any good ideas what to name this thing let me know <laughs> so anyhow um, yeah I think it came out really super cute I'm really happy with it and um, I like the jute I just think it goes along with the uh, sunflowers theme and um, so yeah you can just put whatever little cards that you want to write on I can put some jute on here because it's got a hole and um, so, and like I said, you could put a small tablet in here, or even what would be really cute um, is next time I think I'll try this, is make a tablet with the rounded um, top and have it like, you know, be the whole length. I think that would be really cute for extra writing space. So um, anyway, so yeah, so that is today's video, and I hope you guys liked it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. I know I'm kind of scatterbrained, but I um, had a call from the doctor this morning, and yeah, <laughs> it's not been a good morning. So I hope I, I hope I did justice to these things, and I hope you guys can um, make them. If anyone has questions, my email email will be in the description, and um, you can email me. And um, if you're not a sub, I'd love to have you. Um, also, if you li like to come by my group, uh, it's the Misfit Journal Maker. Um, I had closed my group, but it is now open again, um, and uh, we're doing things differently. So anyhow, if you want to come by, show us what you did. Um, if you did yours differently, came up with some cool ideas, you know, come by and show us. Um, so yeah, same name, Misfit Journal Maker on Facebook. And I hope everybody has a wonderful night. And I will see you next time.